Breaking news. South South insists Southern must replace Buhari come 2023. Hello, my wonderful people. Uh, it's, it's, it's rather unfortunate that the North think they can stay in power forever. You know, power is sweet and um, absolute power, if not, if not checked, corrupts. You see, what's happening right now, you can see the flexing of the Mosos, especially of the Fulanese who do things without anybody calling them to order because they feel a Fulani is in position. And if they want their, if they, if they have their way, they want to continue in that same, you know, uh, trend and continue right now what they're doing anybody who has the opportunity to contest for the presidency is being you know rubbished or put down anyway my people please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details south south insists southern must replace buhari as the governing all progressive congress and the main opposition people democratic party pdp struggle to hammer out a deal on the zoning of their presidential slot ahead of the next general election the south south has said a southern and must replace president muhammad buhari in 2023 the zone said their position was in line with the zoning arrangement of the two parties the South had and its several position argued and maintained that it should not allow, it was not allowed to complete its two tenor of eight years, which was caught out by the defeat of the former president, Goodluck Jonathan, in 2015. The spirit of fairness and equality, most individuals from the zone has won repeatedly, has to be represented, that no one should, be, should allow himself to be used to cut out what is already on ground. Yesterday, the pan Niger Delta development further advised the position, saying there would be no comparison in the resolute to have a Southern as the president in 2023. Pan position followed the report of a PDP panel, which threw open the presidential ticket of the party, generating a ripple of effect of unknown among the stakeholders within and without the party. Pan said it was not bothered about the part of the South that produces the next president, whether the South is from the South, South, Southeast or Southwest, is indifferent to that as most importantly, is South and replaces Muhammad Buhari. In a statement by his National Publicity Secretary, Honorable Ken Robinson, said since Buhari is a northerner, the presidency should naturally, naturally rotate and return to the south in 2023. The zonal group was reacting to recommendation by the PDP committee led by Governor Malam Mohammed of Bauchi State, which suggests that the party 2023 presidential ticket should be open to all zonal, all geopolitical zone. Pan describes such arrangement as irrational, inconsistent, and extract provision for the PDP constitution on zoning between the North and the South. He said, a Northern President Buhari is to complete eight years by 2023. The presidency must therefore rotate to the South in 2023. That is the position of Pan. It is abroad for anyone to imagine that the North will retain presidency, hold power, that is injustice. The sun does not rise in the east and set in the east. It should be in the best interest of the People Democratic Party to toss and say the report of the later bin and work together to ensure that 2023 presidential candidate is from the south. Whether the person emerged from the south, south, southeast or southwest is we are indifferent. No matter the part of the south the person come from, he's welcome. The PDP had indeed any other like any other political party needs to be told that it will be suicidal adventure for it to toy with the idea of representing a northern presidential flag bearer 
come 2023. Warning against mischief and deliberate political maneuvering in 2023, presidential ticket, Pence said it will be in line with unwritten convention and agreement of the natural, national history as carried and cited by Nibuni Mohammed commitment on the ground of the fairness and equality merit. The president of Nigeria in 2023 must have come, must have to come from the south. In addition, no region in the country is lacking in men and women of notable character, competent and adequate to rule this country. However, PDP has maintained at different times that the report of the committee was not final, but subject to study approval of the relevant organs of the party. According to the National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Uche Sokondos. The party is going to study the analysis and report meticulously and come up with a position that will be beneficial to all members. Reacting to the report through his Twitter handle, National Publicity Secretary of PDP, Kola, said, due to the inquiries from our members and the general public, it has become imperative to clearly clarify that official PDP Niger is yet to adopt any of the recommendations posted by Senator Balam Mohammed Committee on the review of the 2019 election. As such, it will be incurring for anyone to assure that the decision has taken the official PDP zoning of the presidency ahead of 2023 presidential election. As official PDP Niger leaders, members and supporters are enjoyed to note that the party is yet to take any decision on the proposed position of the committee. So this is where we are at the moment. PDP is in a state of dilemma because they are trying to pick out a worthy candidate that will be able to represent them come 2023 if there is 2023 presidential election. As we stand today, the PDP is one part, uh, one party that uh, feel very, very, uh, you know, they feel very strongly that they should have the position to or the opportunity, so to say, to produce the next president of the country. Because what is currently on ground now clearly shows that um, the North is beefing up, trying very hard. We know that the person like the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, is looking forward to becoming the president of the country. He wanted to go and contest for Kirby, where he's from. Uh, presidential uh, Kirby State governor, but uh, late, lately he's been talking about the presidency and trying to cut down every wings that rises. But the truth of the matter is, if by 2023 Nigeria is still one big nation and uh, Nigeria is still one together, things has to be done decently and in order. And Nigerians, you and I have the position in our hand to do the right thing. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.